Why, hello there, and welcome to a very busy race city, USA, Mooresville, North Carolina. We're here to talk a little bit, to look upon a filming location that is special to me. This is the location of the first filming location video I ever did, which is pretty crazy. It's pretty awesome. So I, I don't know the exact number, but I think I've done 80 or so filming location videos, um, which is pretty nuts when I stop to think about it. Like that's a lot. Some of those locations are single locations. Some of those locations include like 10 locations. So that's a lot of filming locations. That is crazy, crazy, crazy. But this is the site of the first one that I ever did which is pretty cool. So I've actually done two videos from this location. Um, the first one, I, I didn't realize it was going to kind of spawn uh, my obsession with filming locations. And yeah, the second one I had a drone, so I just wanted to check out the location from the sky. And now a third one, we're in town. We're just gonna talk about it a little bit. We're gonna check out the location itself pretty sweet but first before we talk about that this is crazy last time I was here this was a building this used to be an advanced auto parts behind me uh, it is it was abandoned last time we were here now it's it doesn't exist it tore it down we got quite a, a lot of shrubbery over here the location in question today located on farm pond lane here in Mooresville right over here to the right I don't remember this fence being here. I'm gonna have to look back. It may have been, it may not have been. Not 100% sure. But right there, that is the barn from Days of Thunder. Now, I believe I said this in the first video I ever did, but it wasn't used in the film very much. We've got a shot from approximately this angle. Things have greatly changed since those days. But that's the Days of Thunder Barn right there. Now quite recently, some friends of mine, Big Bake on the move, and Scott on tape, they came out here to visit the barn. And I always thought that the barn was just that one thought someone was pulling in. They're just on that very busy North Carolina 150. I used to live around here, so I know the area a little, a little better than most locations that I visit. But Big Bake on the Move and Scott on Tape were out here, and he did a video. Now, as I was, as I was saying, I always thought that it was just that opening clip that was in the movie, but Bake, another Randy, seems to think that over on the side, some of the interiors were shot here too. So we need to investigate this because I didn't think so. But after watching his video, he kind of convinced me on film. So now I'm here in person. The section of barn that he was talking about, this poor barn has seen some better days. I'm actually surprised it's still standing. I'm happy it's still standing, but I'm kind of surprised. It's, it doesn't look structurally sound, but the section of the barn that Bake was speaking of is right over here. In here. He seems to believe that the shots of Harry Hyde working on the race car were right here. I'm gonna pull up a clip really quick, take a gander peeksy, and then see if I concur. After looking around a little bit, Bake, you're 100% right. They did film that in here, which 
blows my mind. I've visited this so many times. The first time I actually visited this barn was in 2006. I did not film it back then. Um, that was the first time I visited the Mooresville area. Uh, I was actually looking at going to school here. Uh, so that was the first time that I visited the barn and I really thought it was just that outside shot. But you're so right. They filmed that, that scene with Harry when the car was like right behind me here where all these pallets are. It was right there. 100% I am convinced. I'm going to show you why. Some of these Big pointed out. Some of these I, I think are just things I'm going to, to mention. But this is the spot. It's right. Now, some of the things here, I know Bake pointed some of this out. So, like, the lights up here, you can see the electrical lines. And there are still some hooks where you can see where the lights would have been hanging from. I know he pointed those out. These support beams on the left and these windows up here on the right. That, I know for a fact, he pointed all those out. I'm going to have to go back and uh, take another watch of his video but a couple things that I was looking over here, and we're gonna go through here. I don't condone trespassing. Ooh, muddy, yuck. Um, there are no trespassing signs, and I'm gonna try and not even overturn anything in here. Here you can see some pieces of the barn have fallen, rotting. I don't know how much longer this structure is going to be here, unfortunately, just simply due to time. Um, but these, big wooden supports here that were down in the ground. Now you can see, it's tough to see here, I'll show you on the other side. Um, these are exactly the same structures that can be seen in the movie. This one, that beam right there is supposed to be attached here. Uh, we can also see there's those chains right there. You can see where the light would have been hanging. It perfectly angles back this way. This is where this wall no longer exists. I actually believe this wall was up last time I was here. Um, the fan would have been in this wall that can be seen in the background as well. This is amazing. Amazing find, Bake. I love you, man. I would have never known, and I've been here so many times. Oh, there's a private property sign. Oh dear, oh dear, I didn't see that. We're gonna, we're gonna pretend we still didn't see it because it's folded over. But you can see the outline of all these windows. There's some serious structure damage there as well. You can see the outline to all these windows. Those windows that's that's definitely this is the spot you can see it is a concrete floor see when i was here previously you can see it below this dirt when i was here previously i didn't think it was a concrete floor because there's just so much mud on it but you can see it's definitely nice concrete under there but this is it this is awesome Great find, Big. Great observation. Thank you so much for pointing it out. It's difficult to tell with the amount of destruction, aging, but the car would have either been sitting right there or right there. It's definitely one of these two posts because it wasn't super far up in the uh, barn in the shot. It was towards the back here, but definitely that one or that one. I think it was more there. Toolboxes would have been lined up against the back wall. Freaking amazing. Really is freaking amazing. After walking around and studying it a bit, the car was 100% right there. These two beams on the left, right behind that ladder can be seen. I can't get the exact angle because of all these pallets stacked in the way. 
right there. I'm sitting here looking to line up shots and this is definitely the post that the car is sitting behind uh, between counting them and figuring figuring that out it is missing that piece i mentioned that earlier that is right there laying on the ground that support there but it's almost like a video game so you have beams of light telling you this is your mission that little beam of light right there is exactly where i needed to stand to line up that shot it's amazing. It's crazy, really. There's also a shot where they're putting the engine in. Again, these pallets are in the way, so I can't get the exact shot. But these supports here sticking out, they're actually where a little box that can be seen that's sitting above the toolboxes that would have been sitting on the ground against the wall here. But these are the boxes. These are the the supports, the wooden supports that would have held those up. As an example, there's this box still on the wall. This one I don't, as of right now, think you can see in any of the shots. Um, but there was one sitting higher above the toolboxes that would have been sitting on these supports. Directly across from the car, right there. Take one last look at this beautiful structure. Because I'm not joking around when I say I don't know how much time this thing's got left. Involuntarily or voluntarily. It, either way, I mean, look at these. There's no supports here. Nothing's left. It's all rotted. Such a shame. But this is it. This is the location of my first ever filming location. Had a bug on me there. This spawned quite a passion, this barn. This is, this is what got me going to these spots. Like I said, first visit was in 2006. Uh, no videos at that time, but it's the first time we've visited this barn. Uh, I've been here on many, many occasions. Uh, this will be the third video, but this is awesome. So cool. So cool. I've always planned on coming back here. I always check on this barn anytime I'm in the area. Um, Bake's video though, he made me want to check that out. Spot on. You are so right. I wish I had discovered that before because that is so cool. That's awesome. That's all I got. I can't, I'm, I'm speechless. It's just Days of Thunder Barn, Tom Cruise, good stuff. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, it's an old NASCAR movie. Uh, don't let NASCAR turn you off if you're not a racing fan. It's a good movie. It's fun. 90s, 90s, screams 90s. But yeah, that's about going to do it. Now I am going to say, make sure you go check out Big Bake on the move. He had his video here. Uh, Scott on tape as well. Uh, two other guys I know. Uh, Ryan from Nerd Locations and Adam the Woo were actually recently out here as well. So there's tons of Days of Thunder Barn action going on. Uh, check out my previous videos. They're older, but they're still all right. So one's got some drone footage. It's cool. Eyes in the sky. The other one was my first ever location video. So some nostalgia on my end, but Days of Thunder, Nights of Lightning. There used to be a, a sign that said that inside there, someone spray painted the graffiti that said Days of Thunder, Nights of Lightning. But 
that's it. That's all I got. If you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe to the channel. We do lots of filming locations, travel videos, and random things from time to time. And until next time, be good, have fun, and learn something.